We're going to address uh, the questions from quiz three that have to do with tracing a proof to make sure that everyone understands what the instructions are asking you to do. Uh, so here I've captured two questions that are similar to the quiz problems, but of course these are have different proofs. In the problem it says that the reader chooses n equals 23 uh, after reading line one. So they're talking about reading the proof here. So this is line one of the proof. And line one of the proof says let an odd integer uh, be given and call it n. And so what I'm telling you to do here is let n equal 23 as if you're the person reading the proof and trying to follow the directions. The second line of the proof says this means that n equals 2k plus 1 for some k. And of course that's our definition of odd. But if we apply that definition to the choice of n that we made, then it'll say 23 is 2 times 11 plus 1. So in other words, k equals 11 for the choice of n equals 23. So if a reader chooses n equals 23 in the first line of the proof, then the reader will have to use k equals 11 in the second line of the proof. And that's exactly what the question is ending up for. So the answer to this question is 20, I'm sorry. So the answer to the question of what value will k have is 11. The other kind of problem, I'm going to use the same proof here because obviously the, the exact proof doesn't really matter, but um, the other question asks about some value at the end of the proof, but again it has to do with making a choice for n in line 1. So in line 1, if I choose n equals 17, then in line 2, um, we're saying 17 is twice something plus 1. In this case, the something will be 8. So in other words, k will be 8. Um, line 3 um, is just some algebra, but when we're doing a trace, the way we're tracing line 3 is just to check. So um, what I like to do to check uh, a line of algebra is just to check the beginning and any values. Uh, n squared minus 1, again, remember my n is 17. Once I've chosen n equals 17, then that's going to be my n through the whole proof. When I've chosen k equals 8, it's going to be my k through the whole proof as I'm, as I'm tracing it. So n squared minus 1, for me, is going to be 17 squared minus 1, which is 288. And I can compare that to versus what I get here, 4 times uh, k squared plus k. Again, k is 8, so 8 squared plus 8, which is 4 times 72, which is also 288. So, so that's actually correct for for this choice of n. The question here says, what's the value of k squared plus k mentioned in the last line of the proof? Right. So in the last line of the proof it says because k squared plus k is an integer, and of course that's the stuff in parentheses there. Well if you look at where I checked it, that's this number right here. Right? So k squared plus k for if you start with n equals 17, and then your k will be 8, and by the time you get to the end, k squared plus k will be equal to 72. So 72 would be the answer to the question. So all of this is trying to get you to do is play the role of the reader and actually follow the lines of the proofs, proof as, a, as if there are instructions. So when it says to do something, then just, just do it. And, and the, the questions in the quiz are just going to ask you for the values that you get at each step along the way if you're actually following the instructions.